Today, I'm going to show you how to regain some range with a simple process I've done with all my previous electric cars. One of the main questions I get asked is, how long does the battery of an EV actually last before it starts to lose range? So battery degradation, or the fear of needing an expensive replacement, comes up all the time. So I'm going to show you exactly how much my Model Y's battery has degraded after 82,000 miles, what I've done to improve it, and how you can keep your Tesla's battery healthy for the long haul. So stick around, and I'll show you how I actually regained some range and how much I've improved the battery health. I've had my Model Y long range for just over four months, but it is three years and eight months old with 82,000 miles of road trips, supercharging, and plenty of cold mornings. According to my app, Teslab, my battery has degraded by around 11%, which honestly isn't great. On the other end, we have Tesla that did say about 5% degradation just three months ago, but it's now lowered showing 8%. This changed very quickly, and I'll explain why that might be in a moment. All batteries lose some capacity, just like engines lose horsepower over time. But the good news is, that loss actually happens fastest in the first year or two, then levels off, so it's nothing to panic about. Tesla's battery pack is made up of thousands of small cells, a bit larger than your typical AA batteries. In fact, there are over 4,000 of them. Over time, these cells can fall slightly out of balance, the worst case I've had was in 2020 when my Model 3 performance sat for weeks on end or went for very short journeys and never really went higher or lower than 50 to 60% most weeks, causing my car to show it lost 20% of its range. So in your Tesla, that imbalance means the car might think it has less capacity than it actually does. That's where cell balancing comes in, and that's what we're about to fix. So here's what I did, and you can do this with any EV. One. I drove the car down to 2-3%, so just above zero. Two, let it sleep overnight, so no sentry mode, no checking the Tesla app, no third-party apps either. I made sure to turn Tesla app off. Three, the next morning, I charged it slowly to 100%. Charging slowly helps warm the pack evenly and gives the car's computer time to rebalance the cells. That's the key, letting it sit at the top of the charge long enough for the system to even everything out. It's like filling up an ice cube tray with water if you wanted every ice cube to be exactly the same size and use all the space available. Back in 2020, when I had this issue, a Tesla tech recommended doing this occasionally. Not every week, but once in a while. So maybe every six months to a year, if it bothers you. You've not actually lost range, it just needs rebalancing. One thing to note is that in winter, you might also see a slight seasonal drop, which I believe is what has happened to mine here the battery becomes slightly more resistant in the cold, meaning the calibration is also slightly off. Normally, Tesla recommends daily charging to 80% for these nickel cobalt manganese chemistry batteries. That's great for everyday use, but to keep the battery management system as accurately calibrated as possible, the car occasionally needs to see both the top and the bottom of the battery. That's how it recalibrates what empty and what full really means. So after letting the battery go low, then charging to 100%, the system can balance all the little cells and give you a more accurate and usually higher range estimate. Before doing this, my app showed 11% degradation and 70.2 kilowatt hour of usable capacity, giving me 294 miles of range. After the rebalance, that improved to 7.5% of degradation and 72.9 kilowatt hours available, showing me 306 miles of range. That's a noticeable difference. I've effectively regained about 12 miles of range, just by charging smarter. And no, I didn't restore old battery sets. I just rebalanced and recalibrated the system so that the system could accurately read the full capacity again. A few important notes. Don't run the car completely to 0%, especially on a cold night. There's still a little buffer, but it's not worth taking the risk for a few extra miles. And don't leave it sitting at 100% for hours on end or days. Charge to full, let it balance, for maybe a couple of hours and then drive soon after. Also, avoid constantly fast charging if you don't need to. Slower AC charging is much easier on the cells. Also, if your battery is cold, the car will spend energy heating it up before charging. That's totally normal. And a quick side note, we're approaching winter and a cold battery means less regeneration at the start of each journey if you don't preheat. This is a good chance to give your brakes a burnish with some firm presses on the brake whilst driving this will help with maintaining the surface and avoiding corrosion, especially on salt-covered roads. So to sum up, 
Battery degradation is totally normal, but with a little smart charging you can reduce imbalance and even regain a bit of usable range. After 82,000 miles, my Model Y is still delivering great performance and it's comforting to know that the batteries will last far longer than most people think. If you find this helpful, give it a like and let me know in the comments how your battery health is doing. I'd love to hear your experiences. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.